Hi guys, my name is Nur Zahira and we have to talk. After 7 weeks more or less of attending PR classes, do you have any idea how to become a good or a successful PR officer? If your answer is no, for not, you have, uh, I have some answers for you, but if you, your answer is yes, I bet it's only because you have done your interview, right? <laughs> so yes, for those who said no, I interviewed a PR representative. Her name is Miss Diana Rose and she works as a PR at ikhlas.com and also at Asia Academy. She had answered a lot of questions that I have for her. And let's get to it. Based on what I've gathered from the interview, uh, it is important for us to have a good communication skill because we are going to do a lot of communication with a lot of people such as our colleagues, our peers, our bosses, our clients and so much more. And it is also important for us to know our target audience because only then we will um, be able to rely the messages effectively to our audiences. And it is also important to know our target audience because different groups of people respond to different ways of communication. I'm also surprised to learn that misconceptions of what PR uh, offices or liaisons do still happens today because you know um, I think there's a lot of exposure now. Um, people often think that PR offices do the same thing as marketing, what marketing does um, which actually uh, it doesn't. The main difference between PR and the marketing team is that PR works with a limited budget and they are there to you know to, to create a good narrative um, of the brand that they are working with. Uh, don't get me wrong, they still have to work with uh, creating the awareness of the brand that they are promoting but they don't have uh, they don't really push the sales of the product instead they are there to push the brand's story when i ask my pr representative this question i did not expect this to be her answer well i asked miss diana about uh, the smallest thing that um one people often overlook and she answered it with uh, saying that PR people still focuses on uh, speaking well and they often neglect the writing skills of the job um, when actually the main part of the job is to uh, you know to write ideas to pitch the ideas or stories to media editors and in order to do that in order to grab the media editors attention to the story or the ideas you have to have a good storytelling skills because uh, if you write it without no emotion uh, very rigid like a business uh, developer style of email then you would not be able to reach out to those people and touch their hearts and, and because of that you will uh, you won't get the response immediately. I have also learned from the interview that the worst mistake a PR officer can do is to misquote your bosses, especially in terms of facts and figures. Uh, it is important to recheck the facts and figures with your bosses, especially if you handle things that requires that or in, that involves uh, last minute changes. And you, it is also important for you to be more careful and as accurate as possible in distributing the message uh, or info to the public. Ms. Diana also gave an advice to us for all those out there that just started their PR journey. So uh, her advice for us is that we have to be uh, prepared for any possibilities that might happen and we have to uh, master at least the basic skills of communication because you would be the people that other people go to and then you would be uh, one of the important decision makers okay guys before we end the vlog here um, and in case you are regretting or wondering if you made the right choice by joining the communication sector uh, it is safe to say that miss diana uh, 
uh, said that there's a huge potential for us in the communication sector because there's a lot of things that we can do, especially with the ever evolving media media style. And yeah, that's it from me. Um, I hope that success will be with you all the way. And yes, until we meet again soon.